Gerald, for people who don't know who you are, could you just introduce yourself and why you're so famous? Sure. I'm Gerald Combs. I'm the creator of the Wireshark Network for Call Analyzer. So Wireshark is so well known. I think most people in cybersecurity or networking or other spheres has used Wireshark or knows about it. But you've got to take us a bit of back in time. I remember like, because I'm so old, there was this product that years ago used to cost a fortune and you changed the game by creating Wireshark. So perhaps you can give us a bit of history there. Tell us what happened. Sure. Wireshark, in a lot of ways, is a reflection of the way software development changed over the course of the 90s. In the early 90s, I got my introduction to network protocol analysis using a product called the Sniffer by a company called Network General. And, and back then, if you wanted to make a protocol analyzer, you needed to build the hardware. So it was this really expensive bit of hardware. And if you wanted to develop analyzers for all these different protocols, you had to hire a team of developers and stick them all in the same room and pay for all that. And that's why the sniffer was this pricey piece of equipment. You know, it cost about as much as a luxury car. But over the course of the 90s, you know, computers became more powerful and it became possible to develop software in a distributed fashion. You know, the internet came up, people could send software packages to each other over email. And so by the time I created what was originally called Ethereal, you know, that was Wireshark's first name, I could release it as open source on the internet and say, hey, I have this protocol analyzer. If you want to contribute to it, go ahead. And and people did. I love that. It reminds me of Linux, right? Linux changed the world and changes the world every day because it's open source and it's free. Kudos to you, man. Thanks so much for making Wireshark. Thank you so much for making it open source and free.